All right, before we jump on to the next topics, let's try to solve some really easy problems to make sure we really understand the concepts. So now we have this question. The total charge entering a terminal is given by Q equals 5 times T times sine 4 pi T. And it is in microcoulombs. We need to find the current at T equals 0 0.5 seconds. So let's try to solve it. We know that current is given by change in net positive charge over time. That is dQ over dt. So now we will just substitute the value of Q and differentiate it with respect to T. So D over dt and here we have 5T times sine 4 pi T. And this is microcoulombs. Okay, so this will be 5 times T times cos of 4 pi T and then I will differentiate 4 pi T and multiply so this will be 4 pi plus we have 1 times sine of 4 pi t now I will substitute the value of t equals 0 0.5 so this will be i of 0 0.5 equals 5 times 0 0.5 cos of 4 pi and Instead of 0 0.5, I'll write 1 over 2. Then again, 4 pi plus 1 times sine of 4 pi. And again, instead of 0 0.5, I'll write 1 over 2. All right, easy. Now we have 2 pi. And here also we have 2 pi. Sine of 2 pi is 0 and cos of 2 pi is 1. So this will be 5 times 1, 0 0.5, so I'll write 1 over 2. Cos of 2 pi is 1, then we have 4 pi. So this will be equals to 10 pi. And again, we have microcoulombs over here, microcoulombs. Here also microcoulombs. So 10 pi microcoulombs, if you, if you put the value of pi, this will be approximately equals to 31.42 microcoulombs. So this is the final answer. Let's try to solve one more problem. Now we need to find the total charge entering the terminal between t equals 1 second and t equals 2 second. If the current passing through the terminal is given by i equals 3 times t square minus t amperes. Let's try to solve this problem. We have a terminal over here. So let me just draw it just to give you an intuitive feeling of what the problem is. So let's say we have this terminal over here. Now the problem is saying that through this terminal a current of 3 t square minus t is passing. Now you now you need to find out between t equals 1 second and t equals 2 second how much, uh, how much amount of charge is entering through this terminal. We know that when we need to find out the total charge entering between a terminal, we use the formula Q equals integration of t of 0 to t of 1 and then i dt. Okay. So now we have Q equals integration T0 to T1 I dt. Now just substitute the value of I over here. So it will be T equals 1 to 2. And here we have 3 T square minus T. All right. So this is a very, very simple integration. So it will be 3 times T cube over 3 minus t square over 2 and then you can put the limit from 1 to 2. So this 3 and 3 will get cancelled so we will so we will have t cube minus 1 over 2 times t square and then you have the limit of 1 to 2. All right so so let me just directly put the values over here so it will be 8 minus 1 
minus 1 over 2 times 4 minus 1. So this will be 7 minus 3 over 2 that is 1.5. So this will be 5.5 .5 coulombs. So this amount of charge is entering through this terminal between t equals 1 second and t equals 2 seconds. Very easy. Let's try to solve one more problem. Now instead of solving this step by step, why don't you try it yourself? If you face any difficulty, just reach out to me. I'll definitely help you out. Also, I have given a step by step solution to this problem along with this lecture. So let's see what the problem is. The current flowing through an element is given by I equals 4 amperes when time is between 0 and 1 and it is given by 4 T square amperes when time is greater than 1. Now you need to calculate the charge entering the element from T equals 0 to T equals 2 seconds. It is similar to the previous problem which we have just solved. We need to find out the charge entering through element between this time and this time over here. You have the value of i and you just need to put the value. The only thing you need to take into consideration is the value of time. For one case you have to take the limit from 0 to 1, for the other case you have to take the limit from 1 and beyond. That is 1 to maximum 2. Just try to solve this yourself. For the ones who are honestly giving it an effort, the final answer is 13.33 coulombs. So this is the total amount of charge entering the element between t equals 0 to t equals 2 seconds. Alright, try to solve this problem yourself. I'll catch you up in the next lecture.